Okay, so we got this Mark VI Golf R in. I'm gonna do a little bit of a dyno comparison. Um, it isn't completely stock right now, uh, but it doesn't have software on it. So right now it has a integrated engineering intake and it also has a cat back exhaust. I can't, oh sorry, a full turbo back exhaust. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but I'll add that in the description and probably Clayton will lay it over here. Um, other than that, stock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a stock run with it, a couple pulls, just to see what it does now with the current mods. Then I'm gonna actually upgrade the fuel pump and that will enable this to be able to have stage two plus software, which is intake, high pressure fuel pump, and the turbo back or downpipe really is what's required. So we're gonna see what it makes in the difference between the software. So I'm going to just do a pull now and um, We'll see what it makes. So right now we're just waiting for it to come up to temperature. Um, we typically get lots of comments about dyno. This is an all-wheel drive car. It is a Mark VI Golf R from factory. They come all-wheel drive. Um, all we do is just disconnect the Haldex in the rear, and that way we're able to safely dyno the car in two-wheel drive. Most people don't realize that although this car is all-wheel drive, it is being driven 95% of the time as a front wheel drive car. It's only reactive uh, when the all wheel drive kicks in. So when it senses slip or hard cornering, stuff like that, um, that it will engage the rear. So when you're abusing the car, yes, it's, it's gonna be more indicative to be in all wheel drive mode. Uh, but for regular driving, like I said, 95 plus percent of the time, the car's driving around as a front wheel drive car, so. So we're almost up the temp here. We're gonna do the first pull. Remember this is stock software with the bolt-ons that I had mentioned. Oh, it does have a short shifter kit in it as well, I can tell. peak at 225 no probably 235 is a peak I'll show you guys in a second here we'll give it a minute to cool down it was definitely trying to control boost down low um, I want to switch that so that I can see max it must have changed and I'll smash on the keyboard so I'll show you guys what we're dealing with here while we give the car a minute to cool down There you see it. I'm gonna try to get the Okay, I see what happened there. Okay, so it did a peak of 238 wheel and 233 torque uh, But as you can see there's quite a bit of peaks in there. So um, Really it's more like a 230 wheel horsepower if we take out those big peaks there. So we're gonna do another pull, see if it smooths out, and then we're gonna start doing the upgrades. Okay, we're ready for round two. I got the fan on it this time. Now there's a little bit of heat, a little more heat in the engine and stuff. And uh, let's see what we got for round two. Ready to 
back signal we lost for just a brief moment um, but same results all right so 239 239 that time again lots of peaks and valleys in it um, we're gonna start doing uh, we're gonna shut the car off gonna put the fans on it cool it down and we're gonna do the pump and we're gonna reflash it and see what we can get out of it should be a pretty good jump in power so this would have been typically a bit higher than stock obviously because of the bolt-ons that it has the intake and the turbo back exhaust um, but we'll take full advantage of that with the software on it it's had a little bit of time to cool down I had the fans on it so we're gonna pull out the pump which is right here and tear it all apart uh, I figured I'd start recording before I uh, took it out so I'm just gonna relieve the pressure and then pull the pump out and then I'll get it all apart on the bench and show you that next pump is out time to take it apart the pump completely disassembled all the pieces that are inside of this thing and the new replacement auto tech pump the pump comes with instructions and stuff but I've done these so many times um, can do them with my eyes closed so this is basically just going to go inside of here and then it all gets put back together I always disassemble it completely so that I can clean the pump out as good as I can because these cars have been on the road for a bit this one's actually really clean um, but I'm going to go through clean it all out really well and then put it back together so let's get to it okay so there you have it completely reassembled all the little pieces that you've seen in the trays were all cleaned off um, you always want to check the cam follower before you replace these things this one is like brand hammer new so no need to replace that one uh, so now the time to get it back into the car um, everything's hooked back up I got the trickle charger on it and it's time to flash it I put a APR stage 2 plus file on this car and it's just about finishing up now um, keep in mind same with the first pull this is 91 octane um, this is what we have with the pump so that's exactly the file I flashed to the vehicle and as you can see we're ready to go so the one big thing with APR over a lot of providers especially here in our area is they offer doesn't matter what the stage even their stage 3 files we have 91 octane uh, and even 87 octane for a lot of vehicles now uh, files available so uh, it's really good so we'll get her fired up we'll make sure that there's no leaks and um, get the car warmed up and do another run here all right we're ready to uh, give this another shot cars up to temperature and uh, there's no leaks anything like that so let's see what she got all right we're ready six and 319 um, and it's way smoother there's a little hesitation down low that would be the ECU trying to manage power uh, but I'll show you the graphs here in a second all right we're ready to back this up all right here we go same torque 319 it was 304 torque or sorry 304 horsepower that time uh, but the graph is almost identical to what it was I just wanted to kind of go over this now that there's a little less racket in here the fans running and the car running and all that so as you can see 306 or 304 they're both near identical um, the last two runs with the 
software on it and the fuel pump upgrade, I mean, the, the gains are substantial throughout the power band, honestly. Um, the car's gonna feel totally, totally different. We're talking 70, 80 wheel horsepower throughout a very good portion of it, even higher in some points. So I just wanted to talk about down here and why it looks like this. This is torque management. So as the old saying goes, spinning ain't winning. Um, so what this is doing is controlling the power um, so that it's gonna get as much traction as possible and make the car as quick as it can be. So if, we, if the, the turbocharger will easily will ramp in the torque way up here, um, but you know, 3,500 RPM to have 330 wheel horsepower on a street car with street tires, it just, it's not gonna go very far. So this is basically trying to manage the torque and then it comes in basically full when you get up in a higher RPM range when you're gonna have a greater chance of traction. So yeah, really good numbers out of this thing. The guy's gonna have, uh, he lives a couple hours away, so he's gonna have a really fun drive home today. Um, ironically, this blue GLI that I have on the hoist there with the motor on the ground, uh, that's this guy's brother. So um, they're gonna have some racing to do once I finish the other car. So that sums it up for this one. If you have any questions or comments, ask them below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. And that's it. GoPro, stop recording. I don't know what just happened there. It just shut off by itself. I've already started taking some stuff off, but I decided to uh, start videotaping before videotaping. Is that a thing? Start recording. This shows my age. Really? Oh my God, my phone. You, just Matthew? Still recording? Yes. What the f else am I saying here? As soon as you walked in, I become brain dead. I did this whole video without any hiccups. No, no, it's just the pressure.